Today I'm going to be attempting to beat Total Warhammer 3 using only Bretonian Peasants. Now, if you aren't familiar, Bretonian Peasants are terrible. The entire concept of Bretonia is built around their cavalry, their knights, and their peasants, well, they're just, they're bad. They're some of the worst infantry in the game, some of the worst archers in the game. Actually decent artillery, but overall, they're just not good. <laughs> and on top of that, the most difficult part of this challenge is the peasant economy mechanic. Essentially, you can only have a certain number of peasants before you stop earning gold from your best economic building, and also all of the peasants lose all of their casualty replenishment. They get a minus 90% casualty replenishment if you have too many peasants. But we're going to be attempting this with Repense de Lyonnaise on very hard campaign and battle difficulty. Now, unfortunately, we do have to have lords that aren't peasants, but... That isn't necessary because the peasants require their beatings. If they aren't beaten and subjugated, they will just be lazy and worthless. Which they will also be when beaten and subjugated. It's a little bit difficult to understand Bretonian society. It's a little complex. I really do like this starting location. We have to deal with a lot of Tomb Kings, though. Like an ungodly quantity of Tomb Kings. Like most of the Tomb Kings. All of these units are part of the peasant economy. They're all peasant units. The foot squires like to think they're better. They want to be knights, but they never will be. Balance of power here is not in our favor after we disbanded some of our most important units. I think we can take this, though. I think we probably have this. The trebuchets and the peasant bowmen are going to need to do 90% of the real work here. The other units are just a physical barricade. That's all they are. I don't think they're going to do any real damage. Yeah, I'm gonna immediately go for the cam wraiths. As soon as they clump up, we pop that, and that was not a lot of damage. Okay, that was only 500 damage. Come on, trebuchets, please fire. Oh, nice, nice, that is good damage right there. Uh, we've lost quite a lot of models, but no units or anything like that. Losing units would actually be quite impressive with this army, because they'll just run well before they die. Oh, 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 should not have left them on fire at will. That was mostly hitting the enemy. But it did rout our units, which is not ideal. Okay, their lord's finally dead. That should rout them. That and one last Halo of Mainly Wrath. I think we would have done better in auto-resolve there. That was rough. That was definitely a Pyrrhic victory. That felt quite Pyrrhic. But they're dead. And can we... We definitely can't take this main settlement. But can we take this? I'll see. I can back off from here and still recruit if I need to. I think this will just barely be possible. I think if our trebuchets are on the low ground... We can be in a position where all of their units are going to blob up right up there, and we have a very clear firing angle there. I actually like that balance of power. That is not bad. They're sending up their fast units first. That's always good. Why are you Why are you trebuchets trying to hit that? Oh my god. I was hoping we could get two full volleys off before they got to us. But the spearmen should wipe them out really quickly before they do any real damage. And the bats are gone. That's good. The wolves will be gone in a second too. Alright, we can probably target here safely. It's a little close. Eh, maybe a little further back. We got some of them crumbling here already. Oh, those are good trebuchet shots. Alright, there we go. Right here into a mixture of skeleton warriors and zombers. Yeah, that's good, man. That is beautiful. I love field trebuchets, man. I love them. That's why I did this challenge. I was trying to think of, like, how could I actually have a fun time with this challenge while doing well with the limitation on peasants? Field trebuchets are the answer. Okay, so this increases the number of peasants that we can sustain by one for each region we have. But yeah, these aren't actually good units. We're going to get rid of them as soon as we can get the ones with shields in two turns. But for right now, we just need something. We just need some meat on the front lines. To take this, even without an army here... We're going to need a lot more than we have, to be honest. And we're also going to need several turns of recovery, so I think it might make sense to global just get a shit ton of terrible units. Ooh, they are recruiting damn fast there. That must have been a raised dead or something. Thank you for leaving your settlement to just be in Force March there? I don't know why the fuck he did that, but I, I'll take this. <laughs> I'll take it, man. The AI giveth and the AI taketh away, but here the AI giveth. And we will actually need to fight this battle, which is surprising. I think we should be able to auto-resolve it here, really. Every squire dreams of becoming a knight, and every knight dreams of having a better squire. That is a pretty good descriptor of the foot squires. They are, they are not very good at anything, to be honest. 
And then we just kind of flood in the gates, tie them up, uh, use all our ammo on them. And hopefully Rapunz is going to be able to back cap. I don't know if she will. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I am. Things are actually going decently. We are a little surrounded there, but mostly by zombies, so... Hopefully we cap this before they get there. If we can fight the Black Knights and prevent them from getting onto the control point, that'd be great. Balance of power is in our favor. It's, it's literally just a matter of how many losses will we have and how long will it take. And the answer is that it'll take a long time and we'll have a lot of losses if we don't cap the control points. We can probably pour a few more of our guys through their gates here, as long as we're not doing friendly fire with the trebuchet. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I left them on fire at will for a second. <laughs> Just shot right into the middle of all of my troops. And this is why we want to get the Blessed Field trebuchets, because they've been patched they no longer deal damage to friendly units. Okay, we got the control point. It's just a matter of can she keep them off this control point. They're so close to it, but they're not on it. I may as well accept that. I don't have any reason to not, as far as I'm aware. That's actually just peasants. And a field trebuchet. Yeah, this guy's army is dog shit. It was just raised dead, and they are in Force March, so I'll just auto-resolve that. But now we have two field trebuchets, before even getting the building to make more, that's awesome. We have a lot of different ways we could expand. For our short campaign victory, we need to take out the Drakenhof Conclave down here, and the followers of the Gash down here. These guys get really strong in the late game. I've had a really hard time dealing with them in a couple of previous campaigns. So I think it might make sense to just early on move both of my armies over there and bum-rush them. Oh, we're already not getting replenishment here. It doesn't say that we have that going on. Okay, now we have replenishment again. It doesn't- it's not completely accurate here. That is not accurate, the peasant economy up top. Yeah, we're gonna- we're gonna force march down here, we're gonna go hard. Okay, Ark in the Black, right there. I don't know what he has in here, I assume it's 90% skeletons. Uh, he's just- okay. Okay, that works. That works. I might take zero losses taking this. That might work. I'm gonna sidestep him for the moment. Okay, it says they don't have any uses of that. Oh fuck, what the fuck was that? Oh my god. Oh, that was exclusively friendly fire from the field trebuchet. Zero value, but they killed half of one of my units. Okay, why the fuck did I have you Shabdi? It said they had zero you Shabdi. But, we lived. We lived, we didn't take ridiculous losses, probably less than auto-resolve. I can't say for sure, but I'd imagine. We get a shitty little garrison that we can just use as a front line there. And it's not much, but it's it's more than nothing. Now, worst case scenario, Arkin goes for Cover. If he goes for that, that is bad. If he doesn't go for that, I'm fine. Oh, that's the most annoying thing he could have done. And I actually didn't get detected even, he just chose to not attack Rapunzel. That's really annoying. Okay, we just we just go here then, I guess. Yeah, he can't take any more of our settlements in one turn at least, so... I wish I just attacked him straight up, that would have been a better move. I really, I was 90% sure he was going to attack uh, Lashik, try and take it back from us though. Come on Arkin, just attack me. You know you want to do it. Thank you. Thank you. It's not going to be a terrible reinforcement spot. Yeah, that's that's not the worst, that's not the worst. We can play around that quite like this location actually because they're slow moving this could be really good for us if we lock this down yeah those hex wraiths are going all the way behind us hopefully we can get some halberdiers in place to deal with them these dire wolves should go down in like one more volley okay the hex wraiths decided not to go all the way behind us that's good thank you for that Ooh, what the fuck is happening here why are you losing so horrifically the arkan is he self-healing he must be self-healing okay he just hit him one time how did he only hit Ark into Black one time? Embarrassingly terrible performance. I don't know how he even managed to do that badly. Uh, we are probably going to lose this army. Like, this army's just mostly gone. Shoot there, shoot there, do it. Three volleys from this trebuchet and we'll really change the balance of power here. Prance is taking quite a lot of damage there. But the trebuchets are putting in some serious work right there as well. Yeah, I think Ark into Black is half of their balance of power at this point. There we go, that should be the army losses right there. Hello? Game? Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that was a full hard crash. That was a full hard crash. Wow. <sighs> Fucking fine, I'll fight it again, man. I... <sighs> Please die. There we go. Jesus Christ. Oh, I hope it doesn't crash again. Oh. Oh. 
It worked. It fucking worked. Okay, they have another army there somehow. I don't know how the fuck they have another one. I thought that was their entire balance of power right there, but whatever. Please let me say, I thought I was going to have to redo this challenge with another lord. Shut the fuck up and let me save. We'll take this back real quick. Yeah, I really want to get those field trebuchets. I really do. I'm rushing for them. I moved her pawns back down, but now she's getting besieged. I don't know why you would do that, but whatever. You will be in Forest Watch, and therefore pretty useless. Pretty useless is not the same as absolutely useless, and we do now auto-resolve this. They really have nothing that I'm actually scared of. I've just got to be really careful with my archers so that they don't get eaten by the bats. Nice, good damage there. Over here. A little sketchier, but we can make it work. All of you motherfuckers, just throw your bodies up here. Throw your bodies up here. Um, sorry, what? How did they get there? How did you- why are you there? They just decided to use the trebuchets as, like, battering rams or something? They just walked into them. Not too horrendous. We are gonna win this with no, or very few, units lost. Can you please get the army losses? There we go, there's the army losses. Holy shit, that took a while. They really fought all the way to the death. I mean, they always do, but usually they crumble before they actually get killed manually. Alright, yeah, we can recover from this, we can recover from this. I think things are going to really change for the positive once we have a shit ton of artillery. And yeah, we didn't crash this time. I restarted my computer and updated my drivers. Hopefully that'll help. It might make sense to go for that right away. Okay, they do already have a little bit of an army here. I'll probably just move back here and then go for this next turn. This should be a relatively easy win. Might have lost a couple units there, but not too many. We are incredibly hurt though. Um... We've just got to hold and heal up for a good little while here. If we had the movement range, I'd sack and occupy it for that much gold at this point, but... Uh, the People's Hero, that is massive. Plus 5 melee attack and 3 AP weapon damage for all infantry. And then we go for Banisher's Scourge. That'll be really huge against all of the undead factions. I think I will go for Courageous for the moment. I think right now we just need her to be strong. God damn, they're recruiting quickly. They are they are recruiting absurdly quickly. They only have one settlement left. That's good. Next turn, we can get a bunch of trebuchets. Our balance of power is so low because we're just constantly severely hurt. Oh my god, he got up to 20 and he moved up there. Uh, we can get up here where he can't reach us. But then he'll probably take this back. I think I just have to let him take this. Even though it seems like we're trading evenly going back and forth with them, we're really not because we have trebuchets now. We have more trebuchets, twice as many trebuchets. And our trebuchets are pretty much the only thing that's holding this campaign together. Ooh, if I go for an ambush here, that could be nice. It's only a 40% chance. I mean, 40% is a lot higher than zero. We've almost dealt with our biggest early threat and we're on turn 11, so I, I would say we're not doing too terribly. If we- oh, we didn't get the ambush off. That's a shame. I think I attacked this and I think I win it now. It's always a little tight. The margins are never as thick as I'd like them. Oh, you're shitting me. They have another army here that already has 12 units again. Oh my god. That's actually acceptable. That is an acceptable auto-resolve. We do have- oh, we have so much melee attack on these guys. We have more melee attack than they do because of Rapunzel's uh, skill tree. That's huge. And we also have weapon strength that's not dog shit now. So I think I'm going to accept that auto-resolve. It said low casualties. I would say that is the high end of low casualties, but it's still low casualties. I think I'm going to concentrate my power here. I don't really need these units. I feel like this army composition is a little too archer heavy for me, but I don't mind it too much. We have five melee units. Once they heal up, we'll be in a good spot. We can grab that frenzy for all of them. That's big. We're not in emergency mode for this moment. We will be again soon, I'm sure. We'll just hide there, and hopefully they'll do something dumb. Uh, Ark in the Black is back. He is back in black. And he also has another full army here. Oh shit! 40% baby! We're gonna go bowling. Not perfect, but we can make this work. And this firing line is gorgeous. Oh, I forgot to move Rapunz. Okay, that's fine. She can actually go after their lord, I guess. Strike. That is some nice trebuchet work right there. 
Oh yeah, and the uh, the bats are gone. They just got shot down. I think we have enough infantry. I would like one more unit, maybe two. There we go, that's the army losses right there. Yeah, 181 losses, and they are fucking gone. <laughs> Full unit of Crypt Ghouls, though, they just dipped. <laughs> they just left. Arkin did not get enough recruitment, and actually, we can attack him directly. He's outside of the settlement still. Why the fuck would you do that? You, you actively like what I just did, taking out that Nagash army, plus 8 from that. Why? They're minus 9 going to minus 10. Dude. Ah, oh, that's cool, that's cool. Low born. Alright. And we got the Blessing of the Lady. Oh my god, that's so good. It's I, I don't know why it's shaking there. I can't do anything about that. I am sorry. But that says plus 20% physical resistance. All units for the army. That is massive right there. That is really significant. Uh, we're just going to go for this. This is the obvious play. Hmm, are you going to be outside of the reinforcement range? No, you're not. Ah, fuck. Now I have to attack him directly. Okay, that's annoying. I forgot about these guys. I forgot about these guys entirely and just left them over here. And half of their army stayed over here. Oh my god, those two guards are just getting decimated. We have so much ammo. The number of arrows here. Yeah, they're starting to despawn already, but they got pin cushioned. Oh no. Oh no, that is bad. Uh, yeah, we might have lost this unit of trebuchets. I should have paid closer attention to that, man. I just, it's so annoying when I need to constantly worry about a unit that should not exist based off of the UI. <laughs> it lulls me into complacency. We actually did lose them, and they were high tier too. That is a real shame. Otherwise, though, this went incredibly well. Okay, they're going back deeper into their territory, or maybe they could go for my settlements from there. That could be a problem, actually. But the good thing is... They've left this pretty undefended, so I'll just start moving up there. Okay. Okay, not bad. Not bad. They're in force march now. And also they left. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. This is a maybe situation. What if I just, like, raid them? What if I just do that? Does that make you want to come out and attack me, buddy? Hopefully it does. I also kind of need that 200 gold. Like, I could attack this directly, and maybe I could win it, but if I fight a field battle against these guys, I'm like 70% sure I win that. Versus like 50-50 in the settlement. I would have to cheese it to win in the settlement. Come on, attack me. You know you want to do it. What? They're attacking me up there? Also, why is the camera not there? Okay, whatever. We got a trebuchet. And two peasant bowmen on top of this garrison. I think we win that. We don't really need to worry about flanks very much, because they're dwarves. If they do flank, we'll have plenty of time to react, so... I'm not worried about the blasting charges exclusively because the peasant mobs just counter them by existing and taking shots without taking any real, uh, valuable damage. And yeah, that's all their ammo gone, and they got like, let's see, let's see, 46 gold value from all of the ammo on blasting charges perfectly hitting their target move these guys back into the side a little bit. Just do it to shoot. Nice. Nice. Not bad. Oh, all those are hitting. That's good. That's good. Their leadership is so high, though. That's the real concern here at this point. I might use her in melee as well. Oh my god, those shots are so good. That was such a good maneuver. We'll, we'll go for, like, that sort of formation. And then you guys can move up here, just in case. Come on. Come on, do it. There we go. There we- oh, most of them missed. Mo all of them missed, actually. I think I'm gonna move back a little further. All oh, without that trebuchet, we were so fucked. 774 gold value. Just basic tactics, like making space for it to shoot without doing exclusively friendly fire. That's all you need. That's all you need. And you get insane, consistent value. I will say it is even better against the dwarves than it is in general. But it's still really fucking good in general. Over here, though... I might just besiege these guys and just wait it out. Yep, I knew that was coming. Oh, I fucking love that map, though. Oh, shit. That's a really nice angle. There we go. There we go. Now we're landing shots. All right. I'm going to charge in there and distract as many as possible. Ah, oh, fuck. That's going to hurt. Oh, yep. Blasting charges. Ah, oh, fuck. More blasting charges. Okay. We are tearing them up with the trebuchets, though. 
Uh, they're moving back there? What? They're backing off. Okay, that's that's good. That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> I gotta embed her in our front line because she gives a lot of melee bonuses to units near her. Although our front line is at this point, you know, archers. <laughs> they're not supposed to be the front line. Uh, they are now, though, and we gotta deal with that. A couple more volleys. A couple more volleys from those trebuchets, and they're gone. Okay, yeah, they're all clumping up on Rapunz, and that means we just shoot all of them here. Over here, they're completely gone. That's so many units just completely taken off the battlefield. That's awesome. Why are they not broken? Where is the army losses? They've taken such overwhelming damage. Oh, there we go. There's the army losses. Holy fuck, right before they got to the trebuchets. That was too close. Oh yeah, these foot squires are wiped out. There's one left. There's one left. Oh god. Other 19 is so huge. That's all Rapunz. She's just such a good commander for the peasants. The peasant economy mechanic is rough. If, if it wasn't for that, they would actually be good. 491 kills, 2,100 value on that one unit. We did lose two good units, and our melee infantry are just gone here. But they're fucking gone, gone. They're even, like, more damaged than we are. I need that gold for right now. I can't afford minus 8 leadership. I can't. I can't afford plus 15 upkeep. Barely. That's like 200 more gold a turn, man, just because of a random fucking event. We're gonna see what we can do when it comes to just taking this settlement first. I'm, I'm gonna start with this. Yeah, this is where this strategy really falls apart if they don't do exactly what I was hoping they would do, which they aren't. I mean, fuck it. I guess we'll just concede the feat here then. We did some damage to him, but yeah, we're not actually winning that with this army comp. We just need more of a front line. We, we need a couple units to actually hold them back. It will take us a while to heal up, unfortunately, but we can just grab a bunch of new units here. Uh, over here, though, we will go for this. So these guys are gone. The Greybeard's prospectors are not going to last much longer here. Ooh, my god, that is a rough auto-resolve. Yeah, I'll just fight this real quick. There they come. Oh, shit. Oh, most of them missed, but that's still cool. Yeah, shooting downhill with artillery is always a little awkward. Every single unit in their entire army has gone into melee with uh, Rapunz, so we're just going to move our archers up. Even their quarrelers just went into melee with her. Every single one of them, and they're still not doing damage to her. Oh, the trebuchets. Oh, the archers too. They're just, they're gone. Yep. Things were very incredibly rough there. That was the roughest start I've had in any of my campaigns, to be honest. But we've got shit kind of locked down. We have three full of good regions. Uh, yeah, we grab that. Uh, we're at ten settlements dealt with. Uh, we just have to wipe out the Drakenhof Conclave. The followers of Nagash are already gone. So we're going to be aggressively expanding down this way and possibly also up here if these guys seem to be really struggling. So we sort of have two armies now. I wouldn't say that we really do. But once we get some men at arms in here, although we will be going, you know, decently above the peasant economy cap and therefore losing some income, this army will get a lot stronger. In terms of alliances and all of that, ooh, this is new. Wow, I get 3,000 gold and a trade agreement for 300 gold a turn for declaring war on these guys who are all the way up here. I'm gonna do that. I do want some more territory down here, though. I think I might go for the Great Desert of Araby. Uh, we're 11 turns away from the water pumps, which will dramatically increase the number of peasants we can get. Why would you declare war on me, though? You have two significant wars already, and one of your enemy factions is between me and you. Uh, yeah, we can get there next turn, and I'm pretty sure we can just take that. Even if they have their army there, it's not a good army. They do have their army there. Oh, that's just Noblar Trappers. We shit on Noblar Trappers. <laughs> That is a dog shit garrison too, and they're not upgrading it for four more turns. Awesome. As soon as Rapunz takes this and recovers, I want to declare war on these guys. Take over all their territory. If they're offering it for free... I guess, I guess. I can always break it. If I do declare war on them, it won't be very soon, so... Ooh, that's a good auto-resolve. Yeah, I think I'll auto-resolve that. Not bad. Not bad losses. Probably realistic. And immune to desert attrition, all armies. That is what I was looking for. And sandstorm attrition. Oh, that is extremely convenient. They lost their other army. Fine. Good. Great. Really? Are you sure? Are you are you certain, auto resolve? Fine. I guess we'll manually fight this. I don't think we'll take more than like 50 losses, if that. 
Oh my god, it's just raining on them. And that's only four trebuchets. Oh, that's a beautiful cast. Can we actually get value with that spell? Eh, a little bit. I mean, it's relatively cheap, but that's still not very good. Oof, I thought they were off fire at will. I thought you were off fire at will. You were not off fire at will. Once again, a significant part of our casualties due to friendly fire with the trebuchets. Hopefully not going to make a habit of that, although I already quite literally have made a habit of that. Pretty good, pretty good. They just have like one more settlement. I kind of need that gold to develop my other settlements. Gonna declare war, but you're also fighting on at least three fronts after declaring war on me, so... And can you... yeah, you could attack that next turn. Okay, no losses. And that would just be a very normal, boring siege battle, so... alright. Oh, we could go for Grail Reliques and Battle Pilgrims here pretty soon. Icon of Devotion, 12 leadership and immune to psychology in a 55 meter range. Yeah, and we still have the plus 15% upkeep, so once we get rid of that, we will have a lot more gold. That is dog shit. This is mediocre. It's just so many, it's just so many. With both of these armies though, if we heal up fully, we could just pretty easily take this. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I think we gotta go for that. I will go for this. Hopefully they stand and fight. Okay, they will. Yeah, I'm gonna fight this with small armies. We can just easily pick them apart that way. We have a better chance of actually uh, getting good trades there. I'm not gonna get overwhelmed. I don't trust my micro here with large armies. Oh, I like this. I like this spot. This is very similar to an area that I used before to my advantage. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. That's gonna be a good clump. Although you specifically won- oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Okay. You shobbed here, gone, although one of our trebuchets is gone with them. Decent bit of ammo on most of these archers. Not all of them, but most of them. This is the very slow way of doing this battle, but I think it's the more efficient way. We'll get rid of these guys as well, and these guys. I really want to be careful about not losing units. And we keep firing there. Oh my god, so many high tier units are just getting decimated right there. That is so good. We're going to do the same thing again, where we just open up a pathway to shoot. They're moving up quicker than the dwarves, because they're not dwarves, but still, we can make that work. Here, there's enough elevation that we should be able to hit that accurately with one of them. I don't want to overkill any group of them. Uh, they do have that really strong army coming in now, so that will be a little bit of a problem when it does get to us. God, it's all Tomb Guard now, that's a problem. It's all Tomb Guard, and they do outclass us. Over here, we can kill these guys pretty quickly. I think we win this, I think we win this. I'm saying it so that I convince myself of its truth. Shit, 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 shit. This is so close. This is so close. Even if we lose this, we've taken so many less casualties than they have that we should be all right, I think. Uh, Rapunzel is unbreakable. I forgot about that. That changes things quite a bit because she's still at half health. After all of this shit, she's still at half health. This is, this is cheesy, but I don't even have anything that makes her stronger than she should be. She's just this strong. The peasants allowed her to do this. They enabled her, at least. And there we go. We did get so much value with the field trebuchets. Oh, except for these ones for some reason. Oh, we did lose a lot of melee units. All right, one unit of halberdiers is all we lost. That's all we lost. Now we can just take this. Is that worthwhile? Is that worthwhile? That is worthwhile. That is worthwhile. Now we just yoink this. I think it would have been tier 3 if we didn't sack it, but I also think that that's still worth it. This has already started to steamroll a little bit, but it's mostly because we don't have any strong opponents. It's not a matter of, like, we're insanely strong yet. I still can't see... Oh! The Drakenhof Conclave is gone! I don't even need to deal with them, then. I just need uh, 15 more settlements. Alright, uh, that makes things a little more simple for me. Ooh, you're too strong. You're... you're too strong, no thank you. I'm gonna rely on these guys getting wiped out. They usually do. They usually get killed by something or another. They're too aggressive. I'm just gonna hope that I don't need to deal with them. Uh, how much do you want to pay me for declaring war on Kemri? Because I'm gonna do it regardless. Okay, 1200 free gold. Nice. Because I was just gonna yoink this either way, because this is a really good settlement. Mm, because it's a siege battle, I'm, I'm not actually gonna manually fight it. Fuck that. Oh, shit. Fuck it. I'm taking that. I'm taking that to develop all my other provinces and all that. I think that's worthwhile. Because there's some really good buildings that are just too expensive for me to normally get, but now I can grab them. 
Yeah, you keep healing up slowly, you heal up quickly. And then we'll have a wrecking ball and something to defend with. I'm not sure what faction could have given them that around here. There's one down here as well. I don't actually know how they got those. Uh, we'll see. We can reach that in one turn. We can't reach that in one turn, so we go for this next turn. Uh, but yeah, I do want to get rid of the Tomb Kings here. Once they're done, I'll have a lot more interesting enemies to fight. All of these skeletons are getting a little boring, to be completely honest. Just a bunch of shitty skeletons. One unit of the Archer Chariots. They're decent, but they're not scarily good. 110 melee defense, she's not getting hit, and she is murking their lord. Oh yeah, that is nice. That is really good. All about the angles. We're mostly out of ammo, but they're mostly out of being alive, so <laughs> I'll take that. And yeah, just overall, very good. Snipe their lord, good value on repaunts. Yeah, I like that. Eight chivalry per turn is massive, leadership aura is massive, and leadership for the whole army is massive. Okay, he sacked that settlement, presumably. Ooh, I might be able to reach him. Or Volkmar might. Well, shit, I'll just let him fight and yoink those settlements. Or I could wipe out Cetra. I could definitely wipe out Cetra there. That might be the better move. Because he just retreated from one battle. For what reason are you in my territory with your stinky-ass plague? And just dying. He's just dying on my lawn. Uh, probably gonna manually fight this to minimize the losses. They have so much damage on their more important units, and just the majority of their units, that I am not overly concerned. Yeah, that was fast army losses right there. They are gone already. Wow. Yeah, uh, that was good though. That was good. We were, oh fuck, three turns? I thought it was one turn remaining. Either I misread that, or there's even more plague than there was before there. But regardless, we'll take this, because we already have plague in our territory anyways. Oh god, all of these are worthless, except for recruitment costs, which is only moderately worthless. Still not good. <laughs> okay, should be able to get two decent settlements next turn. Please don't yoink Kasabar out from under me. I don't think you can. Yeah, he doesn't have the movement range for it. Okay, 149 losses. That is not bad. 8,000 gold, which I don't really need. I have enough income that I can actually build up all of my regions now. This garrison is mediocre. We're probably going to have to manually fight this, but I think it'll be an easy manual fight. But yeah, it's just a nice way of saving time in situations like that um, to cap the control points. I would have won that with virtually no casualties just using all my ammo, but waiting for them all to walk into my range and stuff like that. It just, it would have taken a long ass time. Awesome. Okay. Shit. Cool. Uh, she was already unbreakable. Now she's even more unbreakable. My god, this is going so much better than I thought it would. Yeah, the other good thing that's really happened and allowed us to expand this quickly and just do this well is that we haven't had to fight any wars on two fronts. I think I might have another army build up and go up here to try and deal with these guys. You no longer have a plague, now you just want to leave. If I can't get to that small settlement next turn regardless, I'm just going to kill him. I, I gain nothing from doing it, but he's just being a dick and he's annoyed me, so I may as well. Yes, we can have three armies worth of peasants now. So I'm just going to kill you because I can, and also because I get a little bit of XP, tiny little bit for free. I get warrior. Awesome. Great. These guys are at war with the last defenders, and I don't think I want the last defenders territory. I'll do that, and I'll start building up my relations with them, because I really want to be friends with these guys and all these other factions down here, because I want to trade with them. I don't want to go to war with them. And I think this is a pretty, like, isolated area that I could take, and I'm not going to be at too much of a threat from here. Balance of power looks good as well. I've already dealt with the dwarves. I know I can do a decent job of it. This should be an easy one. This is a good spell. That's going to hurt me badly. Because of that, I'm just going to auto-resolve this. Those are really three units that I can just get back and replace instantly. Yeah, I mean, this will be another quick one where I just yoink the settlement out from under them. I just realized that I'm still keeping these guys by the um, field trebuchets just as force of habit after dealing with the Tomb Kings for so long. <laughs> yep, there we go. Army losses. Oh my god. That took a while. Yoink. And more gold. My god, we have a lot of gold. It's not worth that much for Bretonia, but it's still gold. I'll take it. I'm not actually going to have a full stack of them, but temporarily, while I still have, you know, free peasants, I will be getting them. Once it's built up, I'll have a lot of peasant bowmen and a lot of field trebuchets. I'll probably have three field trebuchets, 
Yeah, I'll also be able to grab a Grail Relic here, so that'll be very helpful. Plus 12 leadership and immune to psychology for all those peasant mobs. They might actually be able to hold for, like, maybe even 15 seconds. This army mixed with this garrison is not enough to even slow us down, really. We might be able to auto-resolve that, but more likely we'll have to manually fight it. Ooh, Iron Drakes. Actually, these guys have all sorts of runes and stuff, too. But yeah, they're actually... this is a good uh, little army here. I'm very glad they don't have a more full one. Ooh, and it will be a settlement battle. I think that'll actually be positive for us, though, since it's a small settlement. This will be a very interesting battle, though. This is actually an interesting army comp for once. Uh, ooh, there are Iron Drakes there, so I'm going to be careful about that. Uh, okay, those Dwarf Warriors are gone. Go after those Quarrelers, please. Yeah, there's some more up there. And yeah, I don't want to let the Quarrelers take out my Trebuchets. That would be a real shame. They do have shields and 85 armor, so they won't die quickly, but they will still die. We have enough arrows that pretty much anything we shoot at will die. Yeah, those shields are helping a lot, but their health's still going down. Oh, that's just a wave. That's just a wave of arrows. And now they're going down. Oh, yeah, it's only a matter of time. I mean, look at all the arrows around them. We're missing like 80% of our shots here, but they're still dying. Yeah, I guess just keep trying to fire there. You're not going to hit many shots, but the ones that you do will get a lot of value. But over here, all four of these archer units shooting them. Yeah, that's doing a good bit of damage. We'll move a couple more up. They're going back and forth, and that's how they die. A lot of the time, the AI just goes back and forth. It's indecisive, and that's when it really just is easy to kill. Very easy to deal with. They have gotten, like, a little bit of value. Killed a few of us, but not even 100 gold value. Okay, and these guys are actually flanking behind. These guys are really interesting. They have magical flaming attacks and just good stats overall. Very good weapon strength, but they don't have shields. They do effectively have 35% physical resistance right now, including the Blessing of the Lady. Oh yeah, that's very minimal AP. Very low. Oh god, oh, that it just exploded. Alright. Oh, we accidentally captured that control point. That's why it exploded. Alright. Yeah, one Slayer left. And he's dead. Uh, oh, we did lose that one unit. They were only ranked 3, though. That's not the worst. She's zooming down towards us. We should be able to just in time get to her. I think this garrison will be sufficient. Just in case. I don't think she can attack this right away. But I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I will, either way, be going for Field Trebuchets and Peasant Bowmen. 22 bonus versus large. That's pretty good. I'll grab these guys just because I think I might need them. I will go for that. Just because that'll be a long battle. But we're up to 75 as the cap for the number of peasants we can have. That is insane. Yeah, we're just going to grab a bunch of peasants. Just more peasants just filling up that uh, peasant economy. We want to hit the limit here, but not go over it. I think that's really what I should be doing. We should be alright there. I don't know why she's being so aggressive or what her real goal is there. I don't see any point for her doing that. Yeah, six peasant bowmen, three field trebuchets, one grail relic, a bunch of peasant mobs, and one good melee unit. That seems like it might work. I'm not sure. I'm still experimenting here. There's a lot of different options that we have. Here we're just getting a bunch more peasant mobs. This will be a decent army eventually as well. We're chilling then. Look at that balance of power. This army's not that good. Probably largely because it has a plague. Leadership minus nine from the plague. That is huge. Thoric Ironbrow can't attack us right away, and he's also very hurt, so that's great. Really? I might be able to auto-resolve them. Oh, what the fuck? It said it was like 90% in my favor. Luckily, they do still have that minus nine leadership. She's going to be a real pain in the ass to deal with. I don't have any good way to deal with her directly. We're just entirely reliant on being able to shoot all of them before they kill our melee infantry here, and I think we can do that. So the Grail Relic is a skeleton on a fake horse being held up by three or four just dying peasants. And this increases their leadership massively. <laughs> uh, I don't want the dogs to flank me, which is why I'm going kind of wide here. Uh, dogs coming up here. Scurvy dogs are going to trade poorly there. Well, I could go for the dwellers below on these guys. Okay, we're going to manually target right there. Pretty good work from that spell. Nothing incredible. 92 kills. That's some value, actually. That's that's really good. Okay, good damage there. Some friendly fire. They're lasting very long for having minus 9 leadership across the board. They don't actually have it? What? How have we lost this? We did so much damage to them so quickly, and they just haven't routed at all. That is really bad. If they had that minus 9 leadership, we won that easily. We easily win that if we fight that again. That is so broken. We lost only 3 units. They lost a lot more than 3 units because they fought to the death because they didn't have that minus 9 leadership. Like it says right here. All units suffer attrition from the plague. Leadership minus 9. 
Well, I mean, it's not like they're recovering, so I guess I can just go back here. And can you... Yes? Yes! The dwarves are almost done here. Nice auto-resolve. That is good. Oh, that's a problem right there. Scarbrand the Exiled. Okay, that is bad. But we can get Rapunzel there in like two turns, so... Yeah, no shot he can uh, attack us while we're force marching, but we'll go back down there. And we auto-resolve this now. We will be tired in the battle, but we're just going to use the garrison regardless. Literally just the garrison and magic. And they're just still holding forever because they don't actually have any downsides from having to plague in battles. And that is their legendary lord gone with their army. And the next turn we should be able to take Sartosa unless they build up a really good army immediately because these guys are not going to hold it down. Okay, at least it didn't go for Kemri. That would have been harder to build back up. Yeah, he raised it. Oh god, he's running so far! Oh, the movement range! God, I can't do anything about him because he's just running away from me like a coward. You can probably yoink this. There they are. Oh my god. Oh, that's a little terrifying from this angle. But it worked pretty well. Wait, they're just dudes though. How are they running at 40 speed? Oh, those are just some fast peasants right there. God damn! <laughs> Those guys are zooming while carrying that too? They're running faster than normal peasants can? That is crazy. Oh wait, we actually got the army losses on them before we could even get to the control point. Alright, that works too. <laughs> yeah, all of our deaths were from their towers. They have zero kills on all of these units. It was just their towers. Now the question is, what else do these guys have? And the answer is not very much with that balance of power there. And we have a second army coming over. I can probably... Force March up a little bit to just get a little closer. I should be safe to do that, because he's in Force March there. I really doubt he can reach me. Yeah, he wouldn't be able to reach me, but he can reach Kemri. Okay, luckily he's not attacking immediately. Hopefully I can attack him into rear or something. Uh, yeah, they just take that. There's not anything I can do there. That garrison is doo-doo. I don't think he'll have the opportunity to take back the rest of his territory, though, before I get back to him. He really... he's very hurt. Wait, what? Why are you... Why? That was the worst move the dwarves could have made. Oh, shit. Oh, these are both incredibly good bonuses. Sending aid, 15% campaign movement range. That is so incredibly lucky right there. Oh my god, we needed that to deal with Scarbrand. Uh, we can't quite... We might be able to reinforce. We can't quite attack him, but we might be able to reinforce now that we have that extra range. Is that... Uh, no, she won't reinforce there. I guess I will force march her then. There we go, that changes things quite a bit. That's a close victory auto-resolve, not a bad one. We have a lot of archers, they have very little armor and missile resistance. They summoned a unit on me. Um, well that's fine, that wasn't too bad. They killed like 50 of my uh, men-at-arms. We're gonna be doing a little bit of corner camping here. Uh, our archers should deal with these blood letters pretty effectively. Scarbrand himself is gonna be a threat. But he's taking a good amount of damage from the archers as well. I think we're better off shooting his uh, blood letters, though. Get him, Rapunzel. Get him. Hit him with that big old sword. Or just circle around him. That works, too. Yeah, no, I think she might be able to beat his ass. He's also getting shot so much by those arrows. He has such a big hitbox. Yeah, all of these guys are going to fuck up those chariots. Over here, we are crumbling a little bit, but not too much. We're really going to be all right here, I think. Good, that's the army losses right there. That's the army losses, and Scarbrand's gone. He did a lot of damage to Rapunzel, actually. I don't think she would have beaten him. <laughs> that was a good victory. That was not very hard. Uh, most of the garrison's gone, and very little damage on our army. That is exactly what I wanted to see there. But less than 200 losses on our main army. That is awesome. Ooh, you could just yoink another settlement right there, and they don't have that much power, but I don't know where their armies are. We have very shitty armies here, but still, 9 units are not going to be able to wipe us out. Sit right together there, and we're just going to slowly get rid of the Vampiric Corruption here, and eventually these regions will be very profitable for us, especially this one. How do I get three settlements here? That's the big question. I want to deal with that with her. She will be very hurt when getting to it, but that's relatively okay. We can deal with that. These guys are not a threat at all. You two are chilling, but I think I want to go for another settlement next turn. I think you guys can take this out. I want to move them probably together still. I don't want to take too much damage unnecessarily. Do we have any diplomacy options? Oh, you want to join that for free. And you have no wars currently, so alright, that's great. You want to join that one. Join that then, for free. I like that. 
you are not really a threat. I don't know what he's doing there. We're probably going to wipe him out with this army next turn. Mm, that's one too many units lost. We fought much harder ones than this against Corn, so I think I'll just skip by this one. Um, ugh, more losses than I was hoping for by about three times, but we survived it and they did not. I theoretically could get the short campaign victory within one or two turns here, but I don't think I could do that in a way that's actually going to be sustainable for the campaign overall. Yeah, I think I would need to spread myself too thin in order to get this short campaign victory quickly. I can go for that. I think that makes sense. I think that actually makes sense. Because they align with me in terms of being at war with the Disciples of the Maw. I think they'll break the peace. But for now they want peace. And I really just want to back off of here. Focus on all of this. This is more important. Because I'm fighting a war on three fronts right now. One front is here. One front is here. And this is so far away from the other two fronts. I've kind of got to shut it down I think. Oh, they could- I could get peace with them. This actually does change things, if I can get this peace treaty. I think this is a worthwhile trade. I think I'll go for that. And then, essentially, I've gotten rid of two of my four biggest threats. And that lets me focus all of my efforts, all of my armies, onto this main area. And then you can start to move over here. I'm hoping, I'm not sure, but I'm hoping that from right here I can get there in one turn. You can go for that, probably auto-resolve it, easy peasy. There we go, that's nice. Love to see that. I don't want to, you know, overdo it. I don't want to put my armies in positions where they don't have the resources to- Oh, fuck, that's bad. Yeah, that's the type of thing that I want to be prepared for, and I can't be prepared for that if I have all my armies spread out all over the place. I think what I do is I literally just group all three of these armies up, and I try to take out Warzag with all of them. That's a Pyrrhic victory? Okay, whatever. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. Not bad, 629, almost all peasant mobs. That's not good. Oh, and they have another army up there as well. Okay. We start building up. Just an army to recruit here, essentially. To recruit extra units. Not attacking that yet? Okay, he's in encamp stance. I think I attack him. I think I attack him and I think I win there. Wait a minute. Oh, he can! Oh shit, he can reinforce there. Okay, that's awesome. Straight up attack him. I think that this is going to be an auto-resolve with that additional army there. Yeah. I think I can reduce my casualties by a large enough number that it's worth manually fighting this. I'll leave these guys on AI control. Um, these guys are going down very quickly. We use this, and we do want to get on Wurzag soon. He's pretty much on his own there. Hopefully they'll send some of their faster units back to those guys. That would be great. I don't think they will, though. You are dealing with Wurzag pretty well. He's down to half health already. That's great. That's awesome. Um, and I'm going to need some more units on the front lines, unfortunately. You are going to need to get up there. Uh, okay, Wurzag's dead. That's great. You go after them. Our other lord is just automatically going for that. That's great. That's awesome. Love the AI control in situations like this. We are unfortunately breaking a little bit here, but not too quickly. We are going to survive this overall, and they're going to be pretty concentrated on this first army's melee infantry. And we do have replacement melee infantry here that are not actually going to get very hurt. Uh, we did lose most of our melee infantry, but we didn't lose shit else. So, not too bad. Yeah, I mean, literally these guys barely got hurt, so just replacements. Straight up. Easy peasy. We can send them back down there to get more, and then we can just keep doing that, because we're concentrating our losses almost exclusively on the melee infantry. That makes it really easy to just re-recruit them. <laughs> At this point, I feel like you can safely leave Sartosa. I don't think we're going to immediately lose it. Warzag doesn't have that many settlements. He has four. If I can wipe them out before he gets recruited back again, that'll be awesome. You're running back to that settlement, I think? Yeah, if I can take him out and that settlement, that'll be very good. You can indeed reach that. These guys are in Force March. They will not be as effective, given that. Ooh, don't auto-resolve that. Now that's a decisive victory auto-resolve with no actual units lost. This would not be a fun one to fight manually, so I'm just not going to fight it manually. We'll auto-resolve that. That's a lot of losses, but I think it's a realistic number. Short victory achieved. We have a pretty clear way to expand here, although it's not great because of the territory. We could always declare war on these guys again, or we could always declare war on these guys again. So once we deal with these two threats, we have a really good opportunity to just determine where do we want to go. 
That cannot feel good. Oh, they stay on fire too. The animations are so cool. The revolution is commencing. We are getting pretty close to that long campaign victory. And by close, I mean not even halfway there. We still need 40 more settlements and 10,000 chivalry. Overall, I like this situation. One front, even if there's multiple enemies, one front where it's like relatively easy to get between. I mean, it's three turns-ish. Versus when we had three fronts here, getting from over here in the mountains all the way to Sartosa, that's like an eight turn journey. Oh yeah, we're going for this. I almost forgot about this. We're going for the chivalric code, and I think we're going for overseas diplomacy. It seems to overlap with this. Uh, leaders of men versus humans. <laughs> I would argue that men are indeed humans, so it doesn't entirely make sense that these are both separate, and this one gives a better bonus as well. I, I don't know. We will fill up that peasant economy quite quickly, because we are recruiting a absolute shit ton of units here. We have a lot of local recruitment now. Ah, that is quite bad. We pretty much just got that peace treaty. Mm, oh, I think I saw one of his armies moving there. I, I have a glitch where, for some reason, after a war is declared, yeah, uh, the camera doesn't immediately move to where it should be. I don't think I can even wipe out, like, two units fighting this manually, because I do have, like, peasant bowmen, but they have no AP. I mean, they're all unbreakable, more or less, with uh, Thoric. He's a really good lord for them. God, Thoric, why are you like this, man? Oh, no, and he can get here in one turn, too, it looks like. Yeah, moving down to go for core, and it just makes sense to take that to avoid attrition, get a little tiny bit of replenishment, because Rapunzel has a bunch of replenishment buffs, but she still won't replenish when she's taking attrition, so. Oh, I have full growth here. Oh, I just need... Oh, my God, that's expensive. 15,000? But even then, it'll be seven plus six turns until I get the Blessed Field trebuchets, so that'll be a while. Ah, uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That is very good. The Cult of Sigmar has taken that. That is great. Hopefully, this will be an auto-resolve. Okay, they do have an army there, but it doesn't look good. No real buffs on these guys. I feel like we're going to be okay here. These armies are obviously not tremendous, but they're decent, and we can get a little replenishment here even. As long as we win this well, which we don't in auto-resolve, but I think we can in a real battle, and we can even heal up a bit on our lord. Any kills on these peasant mobs? No, zero kills. They are hitting them, they're just not capable of killing them. Yeah, you can definitely see why those peasant mobs are struggling to kill those orcs. I think they killed one of them there. Oh yeah, they have five kills. Five kills, that's impressive. Our peasant mobs are dying to their archers, but their archers are dying to our archers. So long term, we will trade well here. Yep, yep, that is a juicy Dwellers Below right there. I'm, I'm gonna overcast it, even though it's unnecessary, and act- Aw, oh, fuck! That was such a good cast, and we got the army losses a second before it. Oh no, that's such a shame. I should have healed up then instead. Hopefully Volkmar is going to finish the job on his own. That's what I'm hoping for. If he does that, I don't need to worry about them anymore. Please, don't fucking do it. No, dude. You just went for the peace treaty, man. Ah, shit, we're back to square one there, aren't we? Okay, Warzag's back in there. Could be a problem, but we might be able to snipe him. He's not very good in melee. Oh, and Sartosa's under assault. That's bad. You should not be there in that stance. Yeah, I don't know why Warzag would do that to himself. If we could snipe Warzag with our lords, that would be really great. And you are actually doing damage to Warzag, surprisingly. Oh god, this guy might get killed. Effigy at the get again. Fuck. Did I get any sort of... Oh, no, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. We did lose one of our lords there. I don't like that, but he wasn't super high level, and uh, Wurzag is still close to dying. Okay, very much a shame to lose that lord when we won the fight overall so well, but Effigy of the Git does so much damage. God, I hate losing lords, though. I will get a caster here. I don't think the traits... Yeah, they don't make that big of a difference for the Prophetesses, but we'll just get them. One more turn in a camp stance, and then she can force march out. Yep, you take that. That's fine. I can't do anything about that. I did what I could do, which was getting the peace treaty. And yes, that's good. That's very good right there. I uh, didn't go for that immediately. I'm not going to sally out or anything. I don't win that, so I'll just let him slowly take that. And the next turn, I'll distribute the units from this guy into these two armies, and then they'll go for Carrick or Rund and work their way down. But we can start moving towards it. Oh my god, they have another fucking army here. Oh, they have another army here. Okay, 
maybe peace treaty, maybe not, we'll see. Didn't work out so well for the other uh, situations where we tried that. Ooh, that's bad. They have a military alliance, so they are really aggressively moving out there. Uh, this is also bad because I don't think I can win this, but I can probably wipe out all the mortars, to be honest. We run after those handguns immediately because we can. Oh my god, they are extremely strong. 22 weapon strength on handguns? God damn. Not too bad. I mean, that's, you know, six units wiped out. Would have liked to deal damage to the mortars, but our cavalry were just not doing a good job. <laughs> yeah, I don't really give a shit if I have a rebellion here. I really don't. How much gold do I get for abandoning that? Ooh, what if I sell this settlement to Volkmar? Okay, 4,000 gold for that. They'll give me 4,000 gold for this settlement that is making 200 gold a turn and is about to have a rebellion? I will take that. Absolutely, I will take that. I might even be able to get one of their settlements in return. Uh, El, Cal El Calabad. Uh, not quite, but for 4,000 extra gold, I can. That would be fully filling out a region. I think this is a tier 3 settlement. It's in good territory. I think 4,400 gold is worth it for that. I'll go for that. So, this is no longer my problem. No more, uh, rebellion here. That's great. And then we have both of these at tier 3 for some reason. So we have a total of damn near zero income from these two fully built up buildings. That is a little goofy there. Um... I might sell off all of the settlements that I get in the Wasteland to both these guys and the Dwarves. Uh, yeah. We are not manually fighting this one. This is... We'll let that ride. We're not even going to wipe out one unit there. Uh, that was a pretty realistic auto-resolve, unfortunately. Fine, I'll grab that guy because we already had him. But I'll, I will grab the uh, Lore of Life Prophetess here. So, both of these guys are... Well, this guy and gal are going to be building up an absolute shit ton of peasants. <laughs> We are going to be going well beyond the peasant economy limit. Uh, this is a lot of recruitment here. 10, 11, that is 12 recruitment slots. That's insane. Will you be reinforced? You will be reinforced. That should be an auto resolve right there then. We just occupied this and... Oh yeah, Rapunz has decent recovery. Not a lot. Bretonia really does seem to be struggling for, you know, recovery overall. He will be reinforced there if he's attacked. And these guys might go for that. But regardless, he'll definitely be able to get there. That's very annoying, and I don't know why you would do that. Oh, they're going to reinforce an attack. Okay. Uh, yeah, this should... Ooh, they have a... Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Wa army. That is a wa army. We have no magic. They have all the magic. That sucks. If we had 100 wins of magic and they had 20, this would be easy. Oh, shit. Yeah, very, very unfortunate situation here. We're going to do what we can. I... I don't know for sure if I can win this. Oh, my reinforcement location too is not good. The Grail Reliquary. Reliquary? The fuck is? It's a Grail Relic, man. You're you're saying your own name wrong. That I would never, in a million years, guess that it was pronounced like that. That is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna look for a nice blob like that. I'm gonna cast my spell and then I might just back off. I might just literally leave the battlefield. Okay. I mean, it's not its not insane, but that's a lot of value. That's all our wins of magic, though. That's all of it. All right, 14, almost 1,500 value with one cast. But the balance of power is still not in our favor. I think we're going to back off here. If we had even, like, 20% more health on our units overall, this would be a reasonably easy one. But as it is, that's tough. They're just letting me live there? Okay, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna back the fuck off. I have limitations in terms of, like, recruitment and stuff like that that these guys don't have in this territory. So I'm gonna use them basically like my own garrisons. We're also gonna go for the defensive alliance. I think that makes sense here. Another army there as well. Oh, fucking Tomb Swarm. That shit hurts so bad. I hate that. But yeah, this is insane. In any normal circumstance, but here I think it's necessary to avoid the Tomb Swarm ability. Uh, yeah, they just use it right there. I think it keeps hitting them after they leave it, so that is unfortunate. Oh no, it doesn't. We can move them out then. Even hitting only three units, that did a sizable amount of damage, so I am glad I've gone for this kind of weird-ass formation. It seems to be decently effective here. Oh, that's actually pretty impressive, though. I like those movements. Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Come on! Come on! 
I gotta set fire at will to off. I really do. I really do. Every fucking time. Not much damage there, though. That was only, like, one hit of friendly fire. Very minimal. Uh, but still, sucks. Ooh, there is the Tomb Swarm ability again, and I'll see if we can get out of here. Just by being near Rapunz, these guys are up to 60, 55, 28. That is pretty crazy. And with this active, they will be up to 79 melee defense. Oh, finally the fucking army losses. That was a 40 minute battle. Eh, I was fast forwarding most of it, but god damn. But we got it. We got it. Uh, we can kind of piece this together. We can piece the order tied together here. I don't care that much about Orion's camp. It's not that good. He only sacked it. Uh, this is what I'm a little more concerned about, though. I don't want Rapunzel to get wiped out. Which... What? Okay. Yeah, he's gonna take that back. That's just how it is. Um, we gotta lose one front here, and that's that's my front of choice to lose. My enemies really are just juggling me back and forth very effectively. I haven't gotten the opportunity to fully wipe out any of them. Probably be able to wipe out Scarbrand soon, but even that is not a guarantee. So I may as well sell them Galbaraz or whatever the fuck it's called. And I might even be able to get one of their settlements over here. Can I get, like, Bagar for that? Oh my god! <laughs> They're willing to give me this good-ass settlement? And 2,500 gold. Uh, that seems pretty reasonable, because I would struggle to defend this anyways, so... We get 600 gold a turn, plus the gemstone production from that. And this, oh my... We get 1,000 gold a turn. So that's incredible. I'm gonna keep trading with him until I can get Antok as well, finish out this region. So, uh, you motherfuckers are actually in such a horrific spot that I think I'm just going to temporarily disband you. But what I can do instead, because these guys are already built up, is just, you know, re-recruit armies here and eventually swap out my lords. I don't mind that. I think we take that. Close victory auto resolve. I like that. We have meat shields here. Ah, uh, they do have Tomb Swarm. That is very annoying. I'll be careful with my starting... Oh my god, I like that map very much. Yeah, our melee units are going to be decimated here, at least the ones who are up front. But... Oh my god, the trebuchets are getting a lot of value. Just fire. There we go. That is what I like to see right there. Uh, yeah, these guys are just getting destroyed. But most of their infantry is gone as well. I think we win this before they break through to our archers. Oh, we might have lost several melee units. I'm not sure. But that was a really good battle. Yeah, I did lose three melee units. That's quite a few. And then we can wipe out this army as well. Yeah, they'll, they'll be wiped out there. They'll be wiped out there. So that's worth it. We wipe out this army. We take this settlement. We do have to manually fight this. Some of our units are so incredibly hurt here. 65 losses. Probably could have taken zero, but I didn't really dodge the Tomb Swarm. Then move up there. Uh, we can't deal with this right now. We just can't. I'm going to hope Volkmar does. If he doesn't, we have a problem. But that's going to be a long-term problem. Short-term, we can really put a dent into these lads. Okay. Hmm. Moving back there. Ooh. Okay, ambush dance. Yeah, we'll keep going for this here. We need this replenishment. Uh, but I think this guy's going to fuck off down here for a little bit. Just, just go on a little vacation. All right, just get out of there for a moment. Are you gonna... It looks like he's gonna go after Scarbrand. That's good. That could be very helpful. And yeah, the Grail Reliques, for the record, I don't know why I've gotten this question quite a bit, but they are a peasant economy unit. Maybe they weren't in Warhammer 2, but they definitely are here. I mean, the corpse isn't. The corpse is not. <laughs> but the peasants holding it up are. We're not gonna force march, because I do want to be careful. And then either she can attack these armies, or she can let these armies just yoink all of her settlements out from under her, while she tries to go down here and get stopped by these armies. Actually, he did badly in auto-resolve there. Ah, she went for it. She went for it. Oh, I like that auto-resolve. And I don't like the prospect of actually fighting this. Not too bad. I don't think they're at war with Scarbrand, but I think they will be very soon. I think they will just naturally declare... Oh, Thoric, what the fuck are you doing there? That is quite a maneuver. It did not show me that. <laughs> he just... Okay. Oh my god, he would be reinforced by Scarbrand because they're technically not at war, even though they're... I mean, look at those relations. Their only thing in common is that they both hate me. Very unfortunate how quickly we've we've gotten relatively low on health. But next turn, we go into Encamp Stancer. Actually, I think we can take this in one turn. Okay, he's going for the attack there. Not attacking the dwarves. Still not at war with them somehow. 
And now there's a plague into territory I'm gonna take. That is very unfortunate. I don't like that. Hopefully I can take different settlements from them. Uh, that is very good. Very, very good. Hoping Thoric is gonna fall for that ambush. Oh! Oh, he did! He didn't lose, but he took a lot of damage. And they moved their other army there as well. I think my lord might be able to deal with that then. Uh, melee defense plus 10. Yeah, I'll just go for that again. Really need that right now. Why are we losing movement range? I know we came up on the land just recently, but that doesn't... That's way less than we should have, I think. Fuck, we're just gonna have to tank that attrition then. If you can attack that, then do. I don't know if you can. Oh, you could go for that, and you could auto-resolve that. But I think we should manually fight this one. I tried to have just enough pox arrows that I can get poisoned on all of the uh, targets I'm shooting. But I also want to have enough fire arrows to actually kill them. Don't think I'll get much value there. And I forgot to move the fucking trebuchets. I forgot to move the fucking trebuchets. Okay, slight alteration. I, for I knew I was forgetting something, but I was like, eh, no, fuck it. This isn't going to be a hard battle. It's probably fine. Uh, it is not going to be fine if I just let the trebuchets get eaten for no reason. Okay, fuck. Oh, we're not going to be able to shoot them as they approach. And this is why we're always careful. I'm not, but you should be. <laughs> okay, we're not going to have time to get our melee units over to the other side. They're just going to have to stay in there. And we are now firing on them. Okay, and the fire arrows are especially good against the trolls. I'll do a quick slow-mo here. Oh my god, those fire arrows look so cool. Yeah, let's look over here as well. Oh my god, especially in the slow-mo. The pox arrows too, the green, and then, oh, the trebuchet. Oh, it actually hit the stone trolls quite a few times there. That cannot feel good. Oh, they stay on fire too. The animations are so cool. That is so good. Uh, you get out of there again. Just kite the stone trolls. That's valuable. Move up there. We have taken a lot of damage on our melee infantry. A lot of damage on these guys. Get the fuck out of there if you can, please. Good, good, good. We have lost, ooh, 500 or so peasants. Mostly our melee units, but I think we're going to be good overall here. They are getting the army losses now. Okay. That balance of power is close, but it's not in my favor, is it? No. I'll see what I can do here, because if I defeat him and still have some health left, which I do auto-resolve that, not well, but still. Uh, then, after that, I could potentially get both Rapunz and that other army to attack them. Come on, Rapunz. Oh, Scarbrand's moving up immediately. Scarbrand's moving up immediately. That means we gotta shoot him immediately. You guys get there. Scarbrand is going down so quick. Let's actually take a quick look at this. Getting the shit shot out of him. And Rapunz is also hitting him. Okay, Scarbrand's down. Scarbrand is down. That was quick. God damn. That was real quick. Nice. Nice. Oh my god. This is actually going well. And... Okay, we're all getting into position. This is a pretty stationary fight. I'm not too concerned about, like, aggressive micro. There we go. That's good. Good firing arc. They are now crumbling for the most part. Yeah, I think they're gonna... They're gone. They're gone. And our army took very, very little overall damage. 278 losses. That is actually crazy. 8% uh, weapon strength and 5 charge bonus for the Lord's army. That's very good. We can attack this with Rapunz, take this out, kill this guy in the process, and then we can 1v1 Thoric Ironbrow with this army. This could have been a horrifically terrible scenario, but now it's not bad at all. Okay, we'll yoink this back again. We've taken this back and lost it like three to four times now, so... Uh, you no longer have movement range because obviously we took the settlement, so you don't... Either we gotta kill Thoric with this army, or we got to avoid him and be near Rapunz. We gotta choose one there. I'd say Thoric is gonna go in the underway over here. Uh, mm, that's annoying. Oh, shit! Now Rapunz's army and the garrison can't do anything here. That is so difficult for me to deal with. It's gonna be close. We might lose this army. If we do lose this army, that is not very bad. Because this lord is level 2. I can re-recruit all of these units in two turns. God, it would be so useful to have trebuchets here. But I don't have them in this army, and these are also not the upgraded peasant archers. Oh my god, their leadership. They're all unbreakable. Holy fuck. Look at that. Look at that. 29 leadership, 23 models. Holy shit. This is unwinnable. Not against Thoric. Thoric is too strong. I don't think I could have fought that any better. I'm going to be honest. We did 175 casualties to them. And we're completely wiped out now because we were in Force March. But I, I just didn't think the AI would ever in a million years separate my two armies out like that. 
but they're letting me replenish for some reason. The AI giveth and the AI taketh away. I always say this, but it's so fucking true. After doing that and utterly fucking me in that situation, they just back off, leave themselves in force march where my main army can replenish and then attack them. I don't know why this would ever happen. It's insane. Like Thoric has just decided to die here once again. Same map. We're just going to run it. I think we win this. Oh, we're just raining down on them there. That's good. He does have a lot of health and a lot of armor, but I have a lot of AP. Oh my god, he's shining so bright, I can't even zoom in on him. My monitor's gonna explode. Oh, there's still... Is there still one there? No, there's not. There's no more... <laughs> there's no more artillery here. They're just trying to throw the rocks. Okay, they're doing that again. Alright. If Thoric dies, the entirety of their army is going to be having a bad time. Because their leadership will drop like a rock. Uh, yeah, they have other 19. Most of that's from him. I think if he dies, most of that goes away. And Thoric is gone. That's good. Oh my god, our trebuchets were so huge here. Basically, they fucked me over. And then they fucked themselves over. It evens out. I can't be too mad. But it's still annoying that the AI can't just be normal for once. It goes from ultra nightmare difficulty to peaceful. Just back and forth and back and forth. 200 casualties, though, and they are all fucking gone. I would like them to go for Ekrund, but I'm worried they're going to get themselves wiped out there. Ooh, Def Gorge, because I don't have a good way to go after this, and I really need them to be wiped out. Yeah, that's that's a high priority for me. I should have chosen Occupy, I think. That would have been better. You're minus 19 going to minus 9. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah, I guess I'll fight this. Uh, can we fire once more? Okay, yeah, they are hitting. They are hitting. That is the army losses. There we go. That's nice. Heroic victory. Not bad. Not much damage at all. Did not lose our lord. He got down to like 150 HP, but we didn't lose him, and they are gone. Oh, they fought Sartosa, and they won. They're quite hurt. That's good. Oh, and now they're also attacking me. Okay, that's a problem. Not that big of a problem, though. With both of these armies, I win this pretty easy. Okay, I don't know why they're even going for this, and I also don't know why they win this in auto-resolve. Send, the Send them back to their hells is so inclusive. <laughs> Surprised by the Petronians. Oh, we got a unit wiped out, so they came in. Not bad. That was a very decisive victory. I don't know why it's close. We do still get replenishment anywhere on our territory here because it's not- Oh, shit. Okay. You are here, but you couldn't attack me immediately, and even if you did, that is an unbuffed Gobbo stack, which is not very intimidating, so we should be alright there. Oh yeah, for some reason a lot of factions are just randomly willing to agree to wars for free. Especially when they have no wars going on. Even if they're not your ally, they'll sometimes just agree to it. And over here, well it'll be a good few turns. Oh no I didn't, ah oh, fuck I didn't mean to do that. I meant to click on Rapunz, I clicked on the uh, trespassing warning. Fuck. Trespass warning against the last defenders, minus 10. There's no way to fix that now. I still haven't seen clan moors. So I've kind of come to the conclusion at this point that they're not going to be a real threat. And this will both get me 500 gold a turn and 1,000 gold immediately. But most importantly, this will kind of balance out what I just accidentally did there. And make sure they're not going to be too pissed off at me for no reason. And you can move here. And then we're going to have four fucking armies here very soon. Uh, so what I will see if I can do is fight this. That is a lot of goblins. And then our lord can fuck up their lord, and that'll destroy their leadership. Their lord's just running in circles. Okay, stone trolls gone for the most part. You gotta move back over here. Yeah, we're crumbling on the left side, actually. I wasn't having enough archers targeted over here. Come on, kill their lord or get him off the battlefield. Either one is good enough. There we go, there we go. Their lord is gonna run off the battlefield. That'll tank their leadership. They are breaking through our lines, though. They are very much breaking through our lines. Our lord might need to run off the battlefield. Oh, he's getting spirit leech. He does. Oh, why can't he? Why can't he? Why can't he withdraw? Why can't he withdraw right now? Why can't he withdraw? I can no longer withdraw? I could withdraw before. Why can't I withdraw now? That is insane. I don't know what happened there. I had the option to withdraw, and the second I got spirit leech, that option just disappeared. Now I can withdraw again? What the? Can I withdraw again? It keeps going on and off. I don't know what the fuck is happening. Now it says I can withdraw again. I do not know what the fuck happened there. I, I just genuinely have no idea. He wasn't even that good, but it's still incredibly annoying because he should not have died. 
good battle overall. Yeah, one loot unit only lost, except for our Lord, who just died for no reason. And she's going for Kemri, just like I... Th or not. Or not going for Kemri. Oh, these guys are coming down here. That is the anti-player bias. Hard at work, because they never normally would, but that's okay. They're not that strong. Getting a lot of replenishment, that's good. And then I go down here. And we auto-resolve that. Quite a lot of losses. Way more than I would have taken. I should have fought that. That's not good. Ten turns. I can tank the growth. The growth is relatively alright. That is not. That would destroy me. There is no pox. You may all die. But that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. For the, lion. the good thing is they have guns and therefore cannot shoot over walls. And I have arrows, bows, that can shoot over walls. So, I win. <laughs> I'm using the same strategy that I have every other time that I fought on this map, albeit those were against a different faction. Uh, I think it'll still work out fine. Is that the army losses? Oh my god. Finally. I thought that would be so much faster and easier. I got 90% of the way to capturing the goddamn control points, but I couldn't finish it. Less than half overall damage, but it feels like more than that, man. That did not feel good. We will recover, though. Do I want to go back and deal with Scarbrand? That's the real question, because these guys keep saying... it's. I've gotten the notification like 11 times that they're going to attack Scarbrand, but they never do. They always go back on it. So I think I might have to just do that shit myself. And she can reach that. I do have a garrison there, though. I don't think she beats that. Her army was not that good, and it took a lot of damage. She also can't reach back here, so I'm pretty sure what I do is I just attack this. Oh, they do have some Dwarven units that they've ally recruited. This is really small. They have a 150 timer on this, and they've started up front for some reason. Given all of those things, I think I'm actually going to rush them. I'm not going to wipe them out like before the reinforcements come in, but we're going to wipe them out before the reinforcements attack us. We might even be able to wipe them out before the reinforcements come in at this point. They have 30 seconds, and those combined might barely get me the army losses right before they come in. No, not quite. Close though, close. Uh, we do want to turn around quickly here. Ooh, their lord is mounted. Well, she can tank him for a moment. Please actually move. Why are you just, you know, sitting with your back to him? There we go, finally. Oh, yeah. Oh, right there. It's not perfect because they're low-tier units, but that's going to demolish three full units. Their lord is dead, so they will go down real quick. Yeah, that is three units just disappeared. Absolutely gone. They'll crumble the rest of the way from that. 273 kills. She's in the air. She won't get any melee kills. We'll see afterwards how many she has. Look at that. Those skeletons are getting just eaten up by those vines. Absolutely turned into dust. Oh man, that is ominous. You can see him just flop down and die there. Over 100 kills. I don't remember exactly how many I had before. I'm terrible at remembering numbers. Good battle. Good win. Might have lost one unit there. I'm not sure. And now they have once again... One army, one settlement. Although this uh, army is quite weak and this army is here to wipe them out soon. Oh, and also we are currently at 40 settlements and over halfway to 10,000 chivalry. What I will consider my personal long victory for this campaign is wiping out Thoric Ironbrow, Scarbrand, Wurzag, and RNS Assault Spike. That is the goal. All four of them have wronged me in significant and repeated ways. There's way less from their side now because I killed most of their good missile units, but they are still shooting at me. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. The children yearn for the mines, but unfortunately, Bretonia only has fields. There are some things that are not going tremendously. Like, I don't know, that could be a problem there. And this, definitely a problem there. And I could go for peace with Sartosa, but no, I'm gonna wipe them out. I'm gonna wipe out Sartosa, Ironbrow's Expedition, the Exiles of Corn, and the Bloody Hands. That is the real goal of this episode. We are stretching our economy a little thin, but not ridiculously so, and currently we have no growth still. We still have that. We will for 10 more turns. Please attack right away. Okay, that's fine as well, I guess. Yeah, these guys are now way too strong for me to deal with, so I'm very glad I'm allies with them. I gave them a couple settlements throughout the last episode. Volkmar's doing okay. Not very strong, and he is taking attrition in his own territory there. But I don't care that much about him. He is serving his purpose here. <laughs> and his purpose is to at least be a meat shield for me. Potentially kill something for me. Ah, uh, they are gonna attack then. Can they do it in one... Er, no, they're not. Well, that's good. I got replenishment then. 
Do you want peace now? You do want peace now. He has no strength, though. It's so tempting to go after him, but I just don't have the resources at the moment. I know he's going to declare war on me again. Let's see, how many is it? Ten turns, technically, but I, I don't think it'll be that long. Even if it is, I can just prepare my armies by then. And Scarbrand might honestly take me five turns to deal with, so... Oh, I hate that map. I really don't like that map at all. That's very bad for me. The Chaos Knights are certainly pretty good. As are the Blood Letters, but... Yeah, we'll see here, we'll see. I think we win this. This would be easier in a settlement, though. I mean, in the settlement, I would win this with no casualties. I just don't want to take a bunch of attrition and waste a bunch of turns here. Uh, fuck. I... Ah, uh, eh. Ugh, disgusting terrain. Disgusting, horrible terrain. I hate it. Uh, but luckily we have these guys to die for us. We're gonna be wall camping, although not corner camping. The cavalry are going for flanks here, so I will be turning my trebuchets as well. The cavalry have 130 armor. Their main army does not have that much armor, so I really wanna... Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot about these guys. Well, honestly, that's fine. They're knights. I can just let them die anyways. They were gonna be pretty worthless in this battle, I think. We're gonna go for that right there. That. This should be a pretty good line for my trebuchets right there. I'm firing. Uh, you guys definitely shoot in there. Once Scarbrand goes down, their leadership goes down. The rest of them will crumble a lot more easily, so it is worth hard targeting him. This is bad. The Bloodletters should not be able to get in there. They will demolish my archers if allowed to. That seems pretty effective. This also seems pretty effective. I really like the trebuchets here. They're doing a lot, a lot against those uh, cavalry. Uh, and Scarbrand is now dead. That is good. Get that melee defense up. Oh my god, I really like this. I really like the way this is going. I did not think this would go nearly this well. I thought we were going to be fucking demolished at the end of this, but we will not have taken that much damage. Oh, yeah, right as I go to the cinematic camera, they have dipped out. I mean, look at some of these clumps of cavalry. The trebuchets just shredded them here. They did get some friendly fire, I'm sure, but it was well worth it. Because these guys are very valuable. 130 armor and bronze shields. We could not have killed them without the trebuchets. Yeah, that's 363 losses on the main army. I probably could have used the garrison a little more aggressively, just tried to uh, put them even further at the front and all that, but I think I finished this off. And yeah, that's it. They should be wiped out now. Yeah, I'm going to give it one turn in here. All right, we're going to merge up some of these units. All right, and then we're going to be at full health, and then we just rushed them and we absolutely destroyed them. Well, actually, you could reach him as well. Yeah, you could reinforce and I could just uh, auto-resolve this. Okay, I'll do that then. Uh, how many casualties? No units lost. That's fine then. Very annoying army to actually fight here. Way too many different types of units. This is really an army of, like, just reinforcing units. I'll start to move them up here. They'll be very useful after this battle that I'm about to do. Actually, no, I can't reach them. I thought I could. And we do actually have the capability of getting Blessed Field trebuchets now. I think I'll get some just to move up. They're not that much more expensive, but they are just so much better. I mean, look at this. Uh, magic attacks and 56 more missile strength, which is a lot. That's like a third more. Oh dear. Minus 176. That is probably a war then. Yes, that is indeed a war. Okay, we do have two armies here, but they're a bit hurt. Once again, camera just goes to a random location every time I get a war declared on me. And okay, he's at my settlement. <laughs> yeah, obviously this is unwinnable. I don't think I can wipe out even one of them here, but... If I manually fight this, they might drop the Doom Rocket on me. If I have all of my troops in a small area, the AI might just automatically use the Doom Rocket. I don't know if they will, but there's a possibility and I'm willing to risk that. Come on, use the Doom Rocket. You know you want to do it. So many peasants in here. All the different units. Oh, oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. There we go, baby. I genuinely was not sure if that would work. Look at that. The whole... Oh my god, I, I know the thing's in the middle here, but even still, you can just see the devastation. Oh, there's a couple that survived. A, a massive six peasants survived. That is incredible. I did not think that many would survive. So now they won't have any Doom Rockets, hopefully, at least, unless they get more, for the next confrontation with me. Interesting play, interesting play. I do have two armies down by near where he's going, and another one here, and two more north. Uh, I'll start moving the Rapunzel up, though, and see what they have in here. Okay, that's not a lot. Um, that is so little, in fact, that I might... No, I don't even need the Force March. I can just get there next turn. And down here, we have these Blessed Trebuchets. They're going to be coming up here. God, I hate... I fucking... I hate that. The path is so long that it takes here. Look on the right there, that faint line. Uh, the path is so long that the game lags trying to determine it. That is like a 50-plus turn 
fucking movement right there versus two. And the game defaults to going the long way around. Like, it, it needs to automatically go through the sea if it's over twice as long on land. That, that seems like a pretty obvious thing. I don't know if that's going to be implemented soon, but in my mind, that's just a clear thing that needs to change. If we get these guys, shit, we win that. We actually win that with this all melee army. I could auto-resolve this, but this would be the goofiest battle of this whole campaign. These guys have no buffs. This lord is not very good yet. Rank 2. No equipment honor at all. So we're going to truly see who is more powerful. Minimally buffed goblins or minimally buffed peasants. Is this staunch line of spears? Not, not really staunch. They're just... They do have... Well, they're not even really spears either. They're kind of pitchforks. They're going to try their best though. They're going to do their best versus this. They do have real spears, but their spears are also really poorly made, so I think it evens out. Uh, genuinely, in terms of equipment, I think the Gobbos win. <laughs> I think they do. They have worse shields, but I think they have better armor. These guys are just wearing clothes with some little bits of metal mixed in. Okay, and over here, yeah, you get on those trolls. These are my good anti-large unit. You two go for these archers. Wipe them out real quick once they're gone. We have options. Over here, that is a juicy clump right there. Let's see how much value we get from this. I mean, that's that's like 200. 200 plus. And yeah, these guys are just completely surrounding those goblins. Look at that. The hammer and anvil. Awakening of the wood right there. Probably enough friendly fire that it's not even worth it. The goblins are starting to break now. Oh, they're panicking. They're panicking. That is good. Come on, finish him off. Oh, they're running. They're running. They're running. And that's the army losses right there. Virtually no damage. A thousand gold value just from killing those trolls. That's crazy. We used all of our Winds of Magic and only got 800 value on our caster. We were mostly healing, though. I am impressed by the, the value of some of these units here. Not all of them. The Spearmen at Arms really were not very good. But they served their purpose. They held the line for long enough for us to get those good rear charges and break them. I'm proud of that one. I genuinely think that was about as efficiently as that battle could have uh, gone. Over here, we should be able to wipe out the Vampire Coasts right now. If I deal with them now, I don't have to deal with them ever again. Just because it's the last battle against Sartosa, I feel like I'll give this a manual fight. It would be a good auto-resolve, though. Oh my god, they're actually getting hit. Wow, uh, that is quite impressive. The bombers I can handle with my archers, but the handguns, they have long range. Balance of power is going up. Please kill those mortars. Please, please just finish them off. They killed like two units of archers. Oh my god, the number of missiles here. It's just insane from both sides. There's way less from their side now because I killed most of their good missile units, but they are still shooting at me. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. And the mortars are gone. You guys can recharge them. And they, yeah, that's the army losses. That is the army losses right there. The mortars did get a lot of value, but everything else I shut down at least somewhat effectively. 28 kills from one peasant mob. That's crazy. I mean, they were fighting zombies, but still. I guess I'll occupy this. Hopefully, we wipe out Scarbrand next turn. We already dealt with one of four major threats. Yeah, faction destroyed. Pirates of Sartosa. Oh, he can go for that. Oh, shit, she's reinforcing. That's not good. He might still be able to wipe out this army, but I would rather keep this army alive. So I'm going to do the thing where I put my reinforcement location super far away. It, it worked before. She is in Force March, though. But I don't think she'll be wiped out if she doesn't even come onto the battlefield. Eh, five and a half minutes-ish. That's going to be long enough. I don't want to actually fight this fucking army. They are scary as hell. Come on. Come on, completely rout or completely die. I oh, they chose to wait for them. Okay, well, maybe if I can see the feet now... It will save that army. I'm not sure. They still haven't come in. I Definitely the AI chose to wait for reinforcements here. I have nothing here. I have no forces. But I'm still in this battle. So I must have to wait for them. I would, I would rather risk this and risk completely losing them. Than also just guaranteed completely lose them. We do have some losses on here. Even though they never came onto the battlefield though. I do not think it worked like that. It might be because they were in Force March. And they have another army there. Okay. Oh, it did look like that lord was killed in battle. And, oh yeah, they're completely wiped out there. That's very unfortunate. I did not know it worked like that. I mean, obviously what I do is I just wipe out Wurzag here. I don't know why Wurzag in particular is just the worst at moving his armies. 
He just really likes getting wiped out by three armies at a time when in Forest March. I hope that's a bad auto-resolve. I hope I can do better than that in a real fight. I don't know for sure if I can. Yeah, if we break them on one side, that's going to be very good. This side is... Oh, that's, this side is looking bad. Kill Wurzag. Please, do it. Kill him. Oh, shit. They're stopping my archers from firing, but a lot of them are taking a lot of damage here. Go right there. Fire right there. Fire right there. Uh, if Wurzag dies in the next couple seconds... I think they route. I think they get the army losses when Borzak dies. This guy has what, three health left and he's still fighting. Fucking 26 leadership, 3 HP. They're getting the army losses. They are. They're getting it. They're getting it. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. If that went on any longer, that would have been horrific. Oh shit. Borzak's dead. That was incredibly fucking difficult. That was so bad. <laughs> Trebuchet shit show. Oh, 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 that was painful. That was not efficient, but it was better. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm, I'm not touching a goddamn thing. Don't you fucking dare. No. That was a hard one too. That was a really fucking hard 30 minute long battle that I barely won. I updated my drivers. Usually that fixes it. That fixed it last time. Are you fucking kidding me? It even saved the replay. It even saved the replay, dude. Honestly, we took so much damage in the last one that I think we just fucking auto-resolve it. We can basically recruit two armies a turn, move them up here, and just have a conveyor belt. These guys are only like rank 3 at the best, so I, I'm just gonna do that. That's objectively just a worse decision, but I, I just I don't have it in me to fight that again. I don't think I need this guy. I don't think I need this. We're basically going to be just conveyor belting new armies up. Like, I, I'm talking, we're going to be recruiting two, three armies a turn. Okay, these guys are in Force March. Uh, do I win this better in a real fight than I do in Auto Resolve? Okay, okay. The, on the front, they're almost all gone now. That's very good. Trebuchets are doing a great job against the Storm Vermin. Archers are doing a great job against everything else. And they're dying. They really are. And they were in Force March, so they are now dead. That is what I'm concerned about. Can we wipe these guys out this turn? It looks like we can. With the relatively unique situation of fighting against Korin, I am actually going to attack this because I'm pretty confident that we just use our trebuchets to destroy their towers and just shoot it over the walls and kill them. <laughs> I think it's that simple. Okay, good, good. Chaos Knight should trade pretty poorly there. The clump them up using repons and shoot them with the trebuchets technique is undefeated at this point. <laughs> Why are you... Oh my god, I hate the way they fire like that at walls. It's so inefficient. Yeah, look at the way they're hugging the walls here. They're just staring at the wall. I can't fucking shoot them when they're just staring at the wall here. I, th I think they're just gonna let me do this. They're just licking the inside of the walls, and that's the reason I couldn't win this uh, with just my ammo. Two out of our four main enemies have been wiped out now. Oh, victory is a strong word for that, but I mean, we didn't get wiped out. We didn't lose, so it's it's fine. Good enough. Good. They're destroyed. Exiles of Corn completely gone. Completely gone. That is great. Uh, Death Gorge. Oh, I could give it to them. I, I want to make damn sure they don't declare war on me or anything, so I'm, I'm going to do that. Warzag is a gigantic threat. He's not a constant threat, but periodically he's a really, really large threat. I want to make sure they occupy that settlement, take it from them. You. Welcome. Can you steal that? I've had to rely much more on diplomacy in this campaign than any of my previous ones. I don't mind that, though. I actually, I'm enjoying it. I think it's really fun. And it's a good practice for me, because I'm not generally someone who focuses on that aspect of the game. I just usually overwhelm everyone militarily. Yeah, Ikit Claw is just going to be leapfrogging my settlements here. I can't do shit about it. They're not full rushing me. It's really just Ikit who's rushing me. That is going to be good for me. Probably. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I feel like I want to move them all up together. If I move up three armies at once, that is going to overwhelm Ikit Claw guaranteed. Okay. Thank you, Ikit Claw, I think. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> That's looking good. Volkmar and his very... <laughs> High-powered wheelchair there. Like a monster truck for wheelchairs. <laughs> uh, okay, that could be a problem, but I have three armies ready to go there, so that's fine. Uh, I would wipe these guys out if they didn't have 12 settlements that are spread all around here. 
They'll be a real pain in the ass to wipe out all the way. I will, like, you know, get rid of their primary fighting force and take back some of their settlements, probably this area, but I'm not concerned with much more than that. And now he's he's just going back to where he just left. Volkmar moving up, going aggressive, even if he loses. Oh, he won. You're going to declare war on me because you're minus 192, but I don't see any world in which he ever manages to get to me. Oh, they're fucking force marching all the way around the edge of my territory, really? Oh, that's so annoying. I will need to build up more armies then. He is, I think he lost some units there from attrition. He might have formed some up or something, I don't know. Could attack this with two armies, but I don't believe two armies will be enough. I want to have at least three, and I will have three just next turn, so I have no reason to really go after him there. I don't know how strong they are. They're not strong at all. I'm fine force marching then. Yeah, you keep moving up with Volkmar. Can I get another... Oh, I can. I can set another target for him. We're going to go with Ekrund then. Things are trending well. I think this is going to go pretty well from here on out. Yes, he's falling for it. Okay. I doubt I'm going to fight this unless it looks really... Oh, I... What the fuck? Why would he even attack that then? That's dumb as shit. <laughs> okay. Do I just want to auto-resolve that? I think I might. Uh, I fucking hate this style of map. I also just fought Warzag on this one, and I had all sorts of bugs with that. Nah, fuck that. Uh, I'll just auto-resolve that. That's not perfect, but I can re-recruit those units in, like, one turn. Things are going well. Things are not going badly. You are gonna attack that, but I think if you attack that without reinforcements, we win. Maybe not. They have a lot of army abilities here. Honestly, yeah, about as well as would have happened in a real battle. I just, I had nothing there. Uh, I still can't do that without tanking my reliability, unfortunately. Yes! He's finally leaving. Now I have four armies that are going to be able to push up to Ticket Claw. Can we get there? I feel like we can get here. There we go. Okay, one less settlement for Wurzag. That's good. I guess we'll just occupy this and then sell it to the dwarves. I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, no replenishment here. Oh, one troop replenished. That one troop replenished in a uh, unit with 120. So that's under 1%. Uh, oh, he's dead now. He's dumb, therefore he's dead. Just to shit on him too, I'm going to use all of my armies. <laughs> oh, wait, really? If I knew they were this damaged, I wouldn't have even bothered. All he needs to do is get close enough to reinforce me when I attack it. Okay, that's good. That's perfect then. That's perfect. Yeah, that's also very helpful. I like that. Thank you, Volkmar. Incredibly helpful ally this game. Oh, they have some peasants! They have some peasants! They got peasant mobs! Yes! <laughs> now, you are going to be attacking Ekrund. You should be reinforced, right? You won't be reinforced? Volkmar's right fucking there, really? 20 wins of magic, they have 80. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't think I fight this without that reinforcement. No, fuck it. I I'm gonna back off. I'm gonna go into encamp stance. I'm gonna get right to the edge, and then Volkmar's gonna attack it, and I'm gonna reinforce. I think. One more turn. Okay. I can deal with that really well with the trebuchets. I only have three, though, here. I would like more, and I would also like the blessed ones, but three is still enough to do some serious damage. We'll sit here, and then we'll keep moving up. And then we'll have four armies there, and just be unstoppable. At least by them. Yep, there we go. Nice. Yeah, that army's pretty serious. They are force marching, though. Ooh, they might go for the reinforcement there, if they're going to attack me. Okay. Why would you even attack that? That's such a shit battle for you. That's three armies that are decently leveled up, plus a pretty shit garrison, but still, that's four units lost if I auto-resolve. I have a 145 reinforcement time, but so did they. I can probably wipe out this first army before their reinforcements get on. Ooh, my reinforcement locations are pretty doo-doo, but theirs is even worse. Because what I want to do is I want to rush this first army and get as far over here as possible, and then I can just have my reinforcements come in right near me. <laughs> all right. Yeah, 143. By the time these guys back here get in, we're going to be all the way over here and just swap sides of the battlefield. Honestly, that's fine. I'll just tank that. That's fine. I, I should have dodged that, actually. That's even more damage than I thought. Uh, help and abomination going down. The prize that's even still holding. Uh, you guys just are going to literally throw your lives away to slow them down marginally. Gotta keep moving up here as quickly as possible. We can't get stuck on the wrong side of the map. But they are using all of their summons here, like quite genuinely all of them, to try and force that to happen. Okay, a lot of their units came up prematurely. For sure shoot right there. That's gonna be massive. 
Uh, we're also going to go for a Dwellers Below right here. We'll do a little friendly fire, but that's honestly fine. You get out of there, please. This section is going to be broken pretty much immediately by that Dwellers Below. You are going to try to go back on those Warplock Jezails. These ones are way behind because they were shooting at my other units. Every one of you motherfucking archers has to shoot those Death Glow Bombardiers. Every single one of you archers. Every one of you. No excuses. Shoot them. Oh, they're doing a lot of damage, but now every single one of them is firing on them. Oh yeah, they're gone. They're not going to last very long there. Even if they had some major missile resist, they're still going down. Uh, we're going to hit one more Dwellers Below right here, because that's two more high-value units. Won't hit too many of my own units, except for the ones that are moving up there for some reason. Oh yeah, these guys came in. That's why. Shoot over here, and I think we don't even need that last cast. I think they are gone. We will leave this for... Well, we're not even going to leave this for a couple seconds. Fine, we'll just end this shit. Because they were in Force March, so they're dead. 25% damage across all of my armies. If that, please be wiped out. I think he's going to be wiped out, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Very good. Or, no, he's not wiped out? He was in Force March there, though. Why is this army not wiped out? Oh, he went through the underway there. Uh, okay. Okay, Volkmar's doing what I wanted him to do. Attack that whenever. I'll be right there. Uh, is that an easy 1v1? I think that's an easy 1v1. Uh, we'll auto-resolve that, though. Low casualties. I... I can reach Thoric. With this reinforcing army, this should be trivial. How is this army not reinforcing me? Well, shit, I can probably beat it without them. Oh, it might just not show it because I'm not at war with them yet. Well, the good thing is from here, he can't reach this in one turn, so I may as well start moving back. Oh, he is at war with them. And now he's in range of this army. And this army will beat his ass. Okay. Well, that's that's actually really good. I didn't even know I was doing that. That was unintentional. But this army is now going to wipe out Thoric for me, most likely. Come on, beat his ass. Get him. Why are you force marching? Why are you going there? What the fuck was that? And over... Okay, well, that's cool. Go somewhere else that isn't my problem. Ah, that is my problem. Even if Thoric decides to come back, it'll take him, like, at least two turns to get back here. Three to attack us, so we're fine. This army is pretty doo-doo. These are a lot of Chaos Warhounds, and they are gonna attack that. Oh, you do auto-resolve that, but I don't think you really win that, because this army comp is dog shit here. They're all very prone to being shot. That's the only thing that all of these units have in common, is that they're very prone to being shot specifically by my archers, because they're low armor, no shields, no missile resist, for the most part. Uh, this whole formation is going to move back against this wall, and then we should be pretty comfortable. Okay, and hopefully this is going to be enough damage dealers on each side. This should be pretty valuable against those Warhounds. And once these chariots fuck off, we can move these units back into the front here. There we go, you fired there. Okay, now the sides are both dealt with. We're going to be removing these guys here. There we go, the Blessed Trebuchet is putting in work. All sorts of different units here, but they're all getting shot down regardless. And over here as well, these Chaos Spawn I'm going to target manually because killing them will get the army losses a little faster. Uh, because they are unbreakable. They're a good priority target there. Over here we're taking a lot of damage. Trebuchets are missing a little more. I'm going to see if I can retarget that. And yes, that is the army losses. I uh, would like to wipe out the Forsaken. Their Lord's dead. Wish I killed their hero as well. Eh, yeah, that's, that's not bad. Ah! It is finally time to wipe out Wurzag. I feel like we've had enough interesting battles against Wurzag that we don't need another, especially when this one would be just absolutely trivial, so we will go for that Autoresolve. Great. They are now dead, so that is three for four, only the dwarves. The Wasteland has been tamed. Just absolutely horrific territory that I never need to step foot in again. Yeah, he's gonna go for one of these settlements. I can't do shit about that, but I do have an army going up there to eventually deal with that. This army now, I'm confident, will be able to take out this settlement. And Raponce can stomp Thoric once again. We're going to be in a much better position overall if we move up here, I think. I, I think it's worth the attrition. It is quite a bit, but... Now, I will have to manually fight this, I'd imagine. But they don't have a, any reinforcements here, so we should be good. And that's the army losses right there. There we go. Nice! So now they're down to two settlements, including the one they stole from me recently. What are you doing, Thoric? You're taking that. How predictable. Honestly, let's just fucking see. Let's see if we can do this. I think we might be able to. We will have this lord here with these two units that I can now recruit. So may as well grab them. 20 wins of magic. That is very unfortunate, but that's probably from Thoric. Fortunately, we have a monopoly on artillery in this battle. The biggest concern is for sure their quarrelers. 
Yeah, absolutely. Send that one unit of the giant slayers up to die my archers. That's that's wonderful. Thank you. Okay, their archers, or their quarrelers rather, are flanking really hard. I don't know why. Thoric, what, what, what are you doing there, bud? You're just ready to die once more. Okay, that's great. Okay, their quarrelers are now shooting at our archers. Yeah, we just can't deal with the quarrelers, really. They have too much armor. Our archers can't deal with them. Yeah, our, our archers are all gone. Our archers are all gone. That's very unfortunate. It, we just, we don't have a way to kill the quarrelers yet. Rapunz can try to kill the quarrelers. And you should be able to kill Thoric. Keep firing those trebuchets. And yeah, our main lines are crumbling. A lot of us are going down here. Just run off the battlefield, Thoric. You're so slow. And she's just not hitting him. Yeah, and they're going to get the army losses here soon. And that is it. That is the army losses. Look at those losses. But we won it still. Hopefully didn't lose too many units. Thoric is now wiped the fuck out. I mean, the rest of them, virtually nothing. But the fucking quarrelers. They killed our archers. They killed our trebuchets. 2,000 value on those ones. Definitely we can kill these guys, though, easily. Are you serious? Why? Quite a few arrows here. Quite a few arrows. How is he still alive after even that one volley? Look at this. How have you not killed him? 35% missile resistance and 168 armor. That's how you haven't killed him then. You're doing one damage per shot, I'm sure. And he's dead. And he exploded right as he died. Okay. Uh, I'm going to see if I can reach him here. It says 0%, but it looks like I can get to him. Oh yeah, I can just barely get to him. Awesome. That'll make it much easier. I'll just auto-resolve this then. Low casualty should... Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Honestly, I think the Dwarves, as factions go, are probably the most difficult matchup for Peasants. It's either High Elves or Dwarves, I think. Because they both have, like, ranged superiority. Although in different ways. Why don't we auto-resolve this? This is, this is an easy battle right here. And we have the victory tickets. Not bad. Okay, and now we have just one last battle here to finish off this whole campaign. Um, that's a pretty bad auto-resolve, considering that they only have six units and one shitty lord. Definitely target the blasting charges. Oh, shit. Ugh. Not too much damage, actually. They only have, like, yeah, 50 models, half a unit. There we go. Decisive victory to end off the campaign. Although that one was not impressive. This campaign was hard. It was definitely fun. I have never really respected armor-piercing damage as much as I do now. Obviously, you know armor piercing damage is good, but when you're going against multiple factions of dwarves and you only have one armor piercing unit available to you, that really puts shit into perspective. <laughs> this is definitely the most, I don't want to say strategy focused, but diplomacy focused campaign I've done. Because I needed my allies here. This is the first campaign that I could not have won if I didn't have any like military alliances or non aggression pacts or any friends. Every previous campaign, it's like, yeah, maybe I could just kill everyone and just hope that people don't declare war on me too fast. But this one, no. The peasants have proven their worth and the proletariat may rise once more. That'll be all for this campaign. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I'll be making a lot like it in the future, so you might want to subscribe. Uh, that's all.